background and operation of the production of phthalic anhydride. Phthalic anhydride is a solid organic compound with the formula of C6H4CO2O. The selected process is catalytic oxidation of oxalin to produce phthalic anhydride. Reasons to choose this process are due to the cost of utility, price of raw materials, and capital costs are significantly lower than other processes, such as oxidation of natalin. The raw materials are oxalin and air. The filter air is preheated, compressed, and mixed with the vaporized oxalin and fed into the reactor. In this case, we use fixed bit tubular reactor. The reaction involves vanadium pentoxide V2O5 or titanium dioxide TiO2 as the catalyst. Small amount of sulfur dioxide is added to maintain the catalytic activity. The major product is phthalic anhydride, whereas side product malic anhydride is formed during complete combustion. Reaction scheme Phthalic anhydride is produced by the following reaction. Oxalin reacts with oxygen using vanadium pentoxide or titanium dioxide as catalyst produce phthalic anhydride and water. The formation of byproducts is malic anhydride with water and carbon dioxide. The complete combustion of oxalin produces water and carbon dioxide. This is the process flow diagram PFD of our selected process. Process parameters. Below are the list of temperature and pressure for each stream, stream 1 until stream 23. For the raw materials, oxalin is considered pure and air consists of 22% oxygen and 79% nitrogen with no charge. For the oxalin content is stream A, below the lower flammability limit of oxalin which is 1 more percent, or above the upper flammability limit of oxalin which is 6 more percent. For the catalyst, 3 mm diameter is used with 1600 kg per meter cube density. The natural gas used is 25 degrees Celsius and 4.4 atm. Details on main reactor. For this process, the main reactor is fixed bed tubular reactor. This reactor uses either vanadium pentoxide or titanium dioxide as a catalyst and it is filled in the tube. This reactor operates at a temperature range of 300 to 400 degrees Celsius and pressure range of 1 to 3 bar. The type of reaction that occurs inside this reactor is exothermic reaction and molten salt is used as the cooling medium. The reacting gas stream must be cooled in this reactor to avoid any high temperature. This can be achieved by passing molten salt on the outside of the tube with the reacting gases passing on the inside of the tube. In this reactor, considerable concentration and temperature gradients can exist in both axial and radial directions.